Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of the week and uh, welcome to a new video on uh, on Pepe. I thought it was uh, worth it to, to make a quick little update on that. I haven't covered it in a while, uh, mainly because there hasn't been any major breakthrough. Like I think the market structure is quite, um, quite clear from here. Uh, but we're just respecting that market structure. But right now we're actually like, first of all, I haven't covered it in a while. So I just wanted to uh, do an update on that. But uh, second of all, we're also getting very close to some sort of a breakout. All right. So that's why I wanted to shed some light on it, give you my thoughts on that, uh, which I do pretty regularly um, normally. But now I haven't covered it in a while. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do these updates on a lot of cryptos, including Pepe. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Apart from that, I'm also a full-time trader. So if you check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments or go to selenix.com, you can actually find out a little bit more on the, on what it is and also results and, uh, and, and what the signals are based on. And um, yeah, so if that's something you're interested in, check that out. But for now, on to Pepe. So first of all, what we've seen over the last week is that the volume has dropped down significantly. Like uh, last week, Monday, the volume peaked out around 110 million. And at this point of time, it was around 85 million. Right now, we're going up, but we're about 52 million. And, uh, and just in general, we have actually lost a lot of momentum. Like if you take a look at the price right here, basically since last week, we've actually not had as much volatility as we did since basically the 23rd of June when we had that huge push up. Um, and the structure right now is as following, I would say. All right, so there's this uh, there's this triangle forming right here where bearish momentum is, pu is, is pushing us down towards this level right here at uh, 14,500. That's our main support level. Historically, that level has held us up quite a number of times. We had one fake out right here, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that's the main level, all right? So, so what's going to happen very soon, I would say in the next, uh, in the next, uh, next 24 hours or so, is we're going to see whether that level can hold us or not. So I think we'll still get a move up to 15,200, which is now our main resistance level, if you accept this market structure. Um, and from there, we're going to see if we find resistance there again, then the chances are quite likely that we'll see a bearish breakout through uh, 14,500. And if that breaks, like the downside at, at first is not that big because there's a significant uh, trend line right here. So the downside at first will be down to like uh, 13,500. But the market structure then I think has been confirmed to be bearish. All right. And it can only be saved then by a bullish Bitcoin. All right. So if 14,500 breaks, if we cannot break above 15,500, I think bearish market structure is confirmed and, uh, and next price targets are, are this level right here at 12,800 and this level right here at 12,000. Now, on the other hand, like I said, Bitcoin bullish momentum could actually save Pepe. So Bitcoin right now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's bullish, but there's definitely potential to be bullish. So if Bitcoin right now actually gets up towards 30,400, we did not see that much reaction yesterday from Pepe, but there's a chance. Like like I said, I think I do think we will actually see some upside up to 15,500. If from there we can actually break above that level, then first of all, I think there's a, I think we can get up to at least 16,200 and 16,500 this area right here. But second of all, bearish market structure is broken and it's more likely to consolidate a bit here. So that's the key point to look out for, all right? 15,200. We'll get there. Can we break above that? Great, we can actually stabilize. Can we not break above that? It's more likely to get some more bearish confirmation and to, to get to these price targets down here. So yeah, I think that's everything you need to know um, on Pepe for now. If you do have any questions, if you wanna discuss it, I'm always open for that. Let me know down in the comments, but for now, thank you for watching, take care and bye.